Today we're with Troy from Tartar Home Maintenance and he is patching a hole in the drywall. Troy, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the project? Yeah, uh, got a hole in the wall from a baseball. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to cut a square around it because I've got to replace a piece. So what I always do is I use my torpedo level on a small patch like this, make sure it's level. I usually cut it about an inch, inch and a half around it. So I'm just going to draw my line around it. doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it kind of straight because I want to cut a piece to fit in there and it just makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to go around the edge here. Make sure everything's nice and neat. And then I'm just going to take my razor knife and start cutting it. I want to make sure you have a nice blade here. Just go around it first and score the whole thing. Right on my lines. I've got my plastic down. Uh, we always want to do that so we don't make a mess. And then I just keep cutting. You can use a uh, drywall saw on this. I usually don't on a small patch like this because I don't like all the dust from the saw blade. A few passes with a knife and it'll go right through it. When you're cutting, you just always want to make sure there's no wires back there behind there. I always stick my hand in, see what I can find back there before I go cut, because that's the last thing we want to do is damage something else. Just about got it. I want to be careful not to tear this piece up when I take it out because I'm going to trace it to cut the new piece in. So I just want to be careful. Get it out without damaging it too much. Right like that. Okay, I've got that. I'm going to clean some of this excess drywall out of here. Clean it up a little bit so we got a nice area to put in. And then I'm going to put a piece of backing in it. So we've got something solid behind it. I just usually use 1x4s for this. Seems to work out the best. I just take a screw, go through there, kind of hold it. Bring it up, make sure the screw sets a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. You're only going to need two screws for a small pack 